Welcome to this week's tidbit. This week we're talking about fall activities. Finger plays. Circle time is a great space to introduce finger plays with children. These can be used for transitions and for engaging in social play together. Developmentally, finger plays increase language skills through children hearing and repeating vocabulary, sounds, and words. They can also learn through the rhythm and singing along. Finger plays encourage children to use their own hands and fingers and follow your movements, which allow for memory and fine motor skills. You can find it in your ELDG book, Touching, Seeing, Hearing, and Moving Around. Young infants, older infants, toddlers, and three and four year olds you can find there. Leaf Hunt Math Activity. Directions. Encourage the children to go on a leaf hunt. Children will go outside in search of leaves to bring back inside to measure with rulers to sort if they are big or small and sort into different colors. The materials needed are leaves, trays, something to color sort with, with light colored bowls and paper, rulers to measure with, and a spot for big leaves and small leaves to lay. If you wanted to have the children graph how many leaves they have found, grab some paintbrushes and glue. You can find this in your ELDG book under learning about why world, math and ideas to try with children. Sensory play, fall scented cinnamon dough. Play-Doh is, is great for supporting fine motor skills and can be used as a three-dimensional art material. For this activity, gather different items and tools for working with Play-Doh with fall themes. Place item, items on trays and in bins so that each child can have their own materials, such as Play-Doh, leaves, fabric leaves, small stones or marbles, leaf confetti, cookie cutters, rolling pins. Be mindful of the choking hazards for children under age three. Nutrition Project with Preschoolers, Applesauce. Nutrition projects are an excellent way for strengthening vocabulary, fine motor skills, mathematics, and even science skills. When you cook with children, you provide individualization when each child takes a turn doing something for the project. Children get to experience a sense of self while being able to cut up apples or mix in other ingredients. The best part is getting to taste the final project together. The ingredients you'll need are four pounds of apples cored and sliced, a half a cup of sugar, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one cup water, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. First, cut apples and then mix with cinnamon and sugar in a crock pot. Then pour water and lemon juice over the apples. Leave crock pot on high for three hours. Last, smash up the apples and enjoy. What about school-agers? Fall Nutrition and Math Project. This is how to use an apple to explain basic fractions. Getting hands-on with new learning, a new learning concept is a great way to actively involve children. This will help them to retain information learned and allow for a fun and new experience. Starting the activity. Have the children paint three paper plates, red, green, or yellow, to look like apples. Each child should have their own real whole apple in front of them and a plastic butter knife for cutting. Mark one as one whole and divide the second into halves, marking the line down the middle with each side saying a half, the third into quarters with each saying a quarter with a line down the middle and across the middle, like in the picture at the right. Now we compare the whole apple from the plate to the real whole apple before cutting it into two halves. To emphasize the concept of two halves making a whole, place the two halves of the chopped apple 
onto the corresponding painted paper plate. You will repeat the exercise by cutting the apple halves into four quarters and place those on the correct paper plates. Try and ask the children what might come next. Here is where you might let the children enjoy their own apple snack or try to make some applesauce out of your now cut apples. Enjoy. You can find this in your ELDG book under Growing Up Healthy Under Nutrition and Health and Learning About Your World Under Math and Science. Here are some fall books for infants and toddlers. Autumn Babies, Autumn Board Book, My First Autumn, Baby Loves Fall, Lip, Lift the Flap, I love fall, a touch and feel board book. Welcome fall. You're my little pumpkin pie. Mouse's fall, first fall, let it fall. Touch and feel fall. You can find it in your ELDG book, Communicating Literacy Under Reading. Fall books for preschoolers. Get children engaged with books by reading together with them. Create a special space where they feel comfortable and ask them questions about the story that they're reading, such as, what do you see? Who and what will this be about? Where do you think this is? Why do you think the character feels this way? Some of the titles are The Apple Pie Tree, Leaves, 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 We're Going on a Leaf Hunt, Mouse's First Fall, Fall books for school agers. Titles. Goodbye summer, hello fall. We gather together. Leaf man, red leaf, green, yellow leaf, apples and pumpkins. Fall mixed up. Too many pumpkins. Why do leaves change colors? We're going on a leaf hunt. You can find this in your ELDG book under communicating literacy under reading for school agers. Happy fall and thank you for joining us today.